Hi, Mark Savage here with Savage on Wheels. We're talking luxury, compact sport utilities today. This is the Genesis GV70. There's an 80 that's a little bit larger, but this is the compact version. Uh, and it's a beautiful vehicle. And I know Paul and I have talked about this before. Genesis and Hyundai and Kia seem to have figured out styling. They have made some awesome looking vehicles. So this is uh, a nice value oriented, I know that's hard to imagine, luxury SUV. Uh, beautiful grill. Uh, all of the, Lex all of the uh, Genesis has the two uh, uh, horizontal lights. And that has, this is on the same platform as the G70 automobile. Hey, we got our geese buddies over here, Paul. <laughs> Christmas goose. <laughs> Christmas goose here in the Wisconsin. Uh, anyway, beautiful. This is kind of a matte finish. They call it the Melbourne Gray, but it's a matte finish on it, which looks pretty sharp. We got. I think they're liking this vehicle. Yeah, yeah. they're they're, <laughs> they're honking their approval. <laughs> Pretty snazzy looking wheels, giant disc brakes, and uh, you know, typical uh, power hatch in the back. But again, they carry over this two bar light theme all the way around. We got plenty of storage in the back here. Uh, little teeny bit you can hide underneath there, not, not a whole lot, but split seats and all that good stuff. And uh, this thing will rock and roll. We'll show you this. We'll take it out on the highway in a little bit, but this thing's going to rock and roll, man. Interior, two-tone leather. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell what, to me if this is black or, or real dark brown, but it's it's a, a dark color anyway with the dark red and the trim with the uh, red stitching here. But huge 14 and a half inch screen here for our uh, video. We can show you the radio will pop on there. And uh, it goes a split route there. All touch screen here for the heated seats are here. We got a heated steering wheel there. I like this because you can call up whatever you need. You know, I can go map and boom, it immediately comes up there. Uh, automatic heat, but we got dials that each of us can dial in our, our temperatures there. This is our drive modes down here, which now we got snow, eco, comfort, sport, and sport plus. And sport does firm things up, and actually, I don't know if Paul feels it, but when I do that, it also, uh, my bolsters on my yep. seat tighten yep. up a little bit, so that's pretty cool. Um, means we're going to go fast. Yeah, it means we're going to go fast. So, uh, I don't know, but they got a 3D gauges here. Paul and I were just talking, you know, back in the olden days, analog gauges were 3D <laughs> too. But it says that they're shooting out uh, the beams from each one of these, and that one into each eye, a little bit different screen. <laughs> So that I'm seeing this in 3D as a driver anyway. I think from the side it's a little bit harder to tell. But nonetheless, uh, I don't know. It's a beautiful interior, heated steering wheel, leather steering wheel. And Paul, look at the <laughs> oh, look at this. We gotta show this geese. We are we have hit the geese. Uh, mother load today here in Wisconsin. We're uh, on a golf course that Paul works at and uh, The geese love the lake that he has here the little pond and they are out in force today We are heading towards the freeway here and we're going to show you that the uh, Genesis GV70 has some guts uh, 3.5 liter Tur twin turbo V6 and this baby I mean it sounds good too doesn't it Paul? Yeah. Unfortunately yeah. it had a lot of snot left in there's it. There's all sorts of slow moving <laughs> yeah. vehicles out Get there. That Get that Jeep out of the way. He should be off road right now. Yeah he should be off roading. What the heck? No this thing uh, this thing will rock. Uh, the Folks at Car and Driver did a test with uh, the zero to sixty in under five seconds, for like four point nine seconds. Uh, you know that's pretty good for a, any kind of SUV, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, unless it's a Hellcat. The, unless it's a Hellcat, yeah. All of these uh, Genesis models all have all-wheel drive, so we got four-wheel drive going for us. It uh, is biased towards rear-wheel drive so that you are going to mostly have that push power when you're getting acceleration but it can get up to 50 percent 
front wheel and rear wheel drive on this thing. Now that we're on sport mode too, the steering has firmed up considerably. Uh, the ride's a little firmer. It has a little firmer ride than maybe some folks would like anyway. Uh, but it is sporty and this thing handles great. We're going to take it through some of the twists and turns that we have on some rural roads out here. Uh, it handles great, not any lean in the turns. You know, sometimes you get an SUV and maybe you push it a little hard into a turn. You can feel it kind of pushing a little bit out that way, but this one is not going to do that on us. Uh, again, nice handling. It has 21 inch tires and wheels. Uh, obviously a lot of a lot of uh, grip on, on those babies so you know this is a uh, both luxury and performance all roll up into a, a real nice package a real good looking package well look what we found yeah <laughs> you know it's not every day that we uh, see a Ferrari that guy's looking at you right yeah. there. <laughs> but there it is, baby. Wow. Ferrari of Lake Forest. Well, Lake Forest is down in Illinois, so that's a little ways from here. I want to be friends with that guy. I want to be friends with that guy, too. We got to, you know, go knock on his door. I mentioned earlier that there's a, this is a high-value vehicle. A luxury SUV that looks like this and performs like this with 375 horsepower. I mean, I'm expecting sixty to $70,000 maybe 80 Paul was, that was his guess today this starts at forty two thousand dollars with all-wheel drive with heated seats uh, this one goes for 65 so it's up there but hey 42 to 65 thousand dollars you know that's the uh, BMWs are gonna start at that but go a lot more uh, Audi maybe the a5 uh, I don't know I mean this is just a heck of a value high value Super luxury, nice interior, and performance out the wazoo. And the geese love it. The geese give their total approval. They give it the five honk approval.